The prisoner's dilemma goes back to two researchers at RAND, Merrill Flood and Melvin Drescher. And uh, it's this classic story of uh, what we've seen in God knows how many movies. Uh, you interrogate two prisoners separately. And the idea is that anyone who confesses is given some leniency, provided they confess first. And of course, if neither of the two confesses, then they both uh, have limited evidence against them, so they do pretty well. Uh, and if they both confess, then the immunity isn't worth anything. Uh, however, each one is afraid that the other one's going to confess, uh, and so therefore confesses, uh, and the police uh, get all the information uh, they want. So uh, this illustrates a couple things. One, that the outcome of a game, in this case confess, confess, can be uh, good or bad from the player's perspectives, depending on who you are. If you're the prisoners, well, then it's a disaster. If you're the police or society, it can be a good thing. Uh, we see this with OPEC. The question is, how much oil will any one country uh, choose to bring to the market? And it's almost the case, no matter what quantities other members of OPEC supply, each one wants to put more on. Uh, and then, of course, when everyone does put more, the uh, cartel is much less effective. Thank you.